Here we go. Another 7 a.m. physio appointment. Get this leg moving, get the knee moving again to start the day. I remember not that long ago, get out of the car and realize that it's icy and slippery. And I've got my crutches on. I can barely move. I get to this little lip right here and I couldn't even get over this lip. And so I had to walk all the way around <laughs> quite a ways on the ice to, uh, to get there. I was terrified, absolutely terrified. Anyways, things are certainly getting better now though. I'm Liza, I'm Warren's physio. I work here at Ascent Physio in Canmore, Alberta. Seeing the x-rays, certainly I was thinking, okay, this is pretty significant. Mm. And I wasn't sure that you knew the, like, the extent of the significance of your injury. Totally didn't. No. <laughs> and so my mind, I certainly was thinking like, okay, well, uh, this guy's knee is gonna be pretty sore. It's gonna be hard to ski. You know, <laughs> it's gonna take a while to get back to that. And I knew it'd be a long road. Yeah. I knew the road was going to be a little bit longer than what you had, what you imagined <laughs> at that point. <laughs> and then the trick is always, how do you break that to your client too, right? In a trying to stay positive kind of a way, but without discouraging them too much, yeah. but giving a reality check, really. Yeah. So, yeah, thinking forward to the ski season, we had some restrictions, like you weren't allowed doing any kind of jumping stuff until just this past fall, which was like... It's like October. Yeah, nine, almost nine, ten months after mm -hmm. your injury. Yeah. So we just focused on strength mm -hmm. and range of motion. But yeah, working on range of motion, just getting this muscle activated. I remember too, this muscle was just really floppy and small mm -hmm. and just watching it grow, getting that bulk back was yeah. really... What were some of those key milestones? Getting around on the bike, right? Yeah. Like getting your knee around on the bike. Um, not having pain with a pedal stroke. <laughs> and then, yeah, do a little step down without falling over. Yeah. Being able to squat with equal weight bearing. And now just even skiing a green run with good form and with yeah. no pain, yeah. right? You're not berating yourself for not ripping down the double blacks right now. When I first got on snow, I know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Right? And I know how it's supposed to feel. Yeah. And I even coached myself in my head yeah. of what to do, and I couldn't do it. Yeah. And I think, too, just speaking to, like, your own struggle with it, I think once you sort of got over the, the shock of what was actually happening mm -hmm. and how it was going to affect your career. Yeah. One of the best things that you did for yourself was to just say, okay, well, this is my job now. This is what I've got to do. Yeah. And you worked really hard and you just changed, like you had a sort of forward thinking mindset mm -hmm. and a mindset of having little small goals that you wanted to achieve. Right. And that was really helpful for you because it helped you stay positive about it. And you're just happy to get out there. And I think it's taught you a different appreciation for just little measurable steps. So after nine months of physio, being patient, taking it step by step, and celebrating the little wins along the way, my physio said the next stage of the recovery process was to test it out on snow. <laughs> well, it works. <laughs> Feels all right. Yeah. Yeah. It works. Good. Let's do it again. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great videos coming soon. You're more than welcome to download and share my videos with credit. The videos cannot be modified or used commercially.